What's happening everyone, we're back with some sap and I became a top 10 player in the last weekly pack. This was a crazy grind, I played god knows how many rounds of super auto pets just to have my silly name on the leaderboard. And I'm going to show the final battles of these versus matches in a second, but the main run in this video, which comes right after the one you're currently watching, will be the match that broke me into the top 10. But real quick, I want to thank you all for the support on the channel. I recently hit 700 subscribers, which just absolutely blows my mind. I appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos. Y'all seriously encourage me to make more. And the unicorn pack is just around the corner, so you can expect a lot more exciting content from me. Y'all are the best for real. Y aquí con mi amiga. ¿Cómo estás, amiga? ¿Cómo lo llevas? ¿Bien? But anyways, let's get into the run. But I did say I would show you guys the battles that I had leading up to this point. So here we go. I have a really high tiered team. My lowest is the scorpion there at tier 5, everything else tier 6, and I wanted to show you guys these teams just to show you guys like my progress, how much of a grind this is, and also like the kind of sweat you need in order to win these versus matches because a lot of the teams uh, con construction that you see in uh, versus matches are going to be different than arena, a little bit different meta in my opinion, but I'm going to win a lot of these games, I had two lionfishes here, and their scorpion in the back not going to be able to help so i'm at 1670 ranking and they had a dodo warthog combo which is really strong in this weekly but i'm going to win again but i don't always win i'm going to be 1680 there but here i have a level 2 dragon but i'm on my last heart and it's just not enough i got it a bit too late and i'm going to lose here and i'm just going to lose some rating so i go down four points there and I think I lose again to this team here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just way too powerful. No, wait, I do win because of the level 3 boar. Just enough health. But I have another double lionfish team here. But I think I lose here. I think I could have won that match. It was like a 50-50 coin flip. But I kind of got the bad end of it. I have a shark team, even though shark isn't that good in this uh, weekly. But sometimes you just gotta go with what what's given to you, man. Like, you really can't help it. So we go down to 4 there. And we go up against a level 2 lionfish with 50 attack with the tiger. Yeah, and there's just no shot I was gonna win that. Hey, I came kind of close. But there it is. Those were the final matches I had. The run that you saw in the beginning of the video was the match right after that last battle you saw and now we are caught up with our elo rating so you guys know the last nine to ten matches how those went for me so let's get into this run now we're gonna pick up a dub there heading into turn five we still got all five of our hearts and one thing that i've learned i've been sleeping so hard on the guinea pig in versus leveling up your pets is so powerful leveraging getting a higher tier early on in the game just works out so much in your benefit like in arena i don't think i ever pick up a guinea pig like it's just not something that i like but it's so good and plus when you stack them together it's pretty good stats and also the guinea pig can get you a uh, bison that can scale itself if it gets to level three like the guinea pig can get to level three just by finding three of them i mean it levels up twice as fast as any other pet so if you're in a versus game um, or maybe it was just good in this weekly but the guinea pig i i love you it's top tier in versus maybe i'm wrong but listen leveling up your pets and getting uh early tiers is super important in versus so yeah pick up the guinea pig if you didn't already know it's really good but i think yeah i'm kind of scared at this point i lose twice in a row i'm at three hearts and i'm like freaking out man because this game is very unforgiving in versus like if you lose you lose so much elo and like the progress just takes so long and I edit out the waiting time in my videos of these ranked matches, but these matches take a while because when you end your turn, you gotta wait for everybody to be done. But I have a bunch of levels coming up next turn, so what we're praying for are just scaling. 
We need either a husky or a monkey or both. Let's see what we get here when we level up our guys. So we do level up into a monkey and a husky. Which one will I take? Probably the husky. The husky is just way more consistent. It'd be nice to have both the monkey and the husky, but we're going to take the wide stats with the husky, which is why I didn't give anything a croissant or a meat bone because I was planning on trying to get a husky early on. And the hawk is also a very great versus um, pet. Um, pretty much you can look at like who you're facing up against and use the hawk in to your advantage and place it in a slot where there's a threat in the opposing team it kind of works better once there's less people in the game but i don't know you can kind of uh you can give like an estimate like an educated guess on where the best placement for the hawk will be i didn't really bother i just had it in the back there because I just wanted to get the pill bug level 3 into our bison. But there we go. We do win there. So not all is lost. We got a husky. So now we're just trying to level up this husky to level 2 as fast as humanly possible. This chocolate bar will help, of course. And I'm just rolling, man. I'm praying. I always take a second. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who does that. But like when I really need like a specific item, I like take a second to roll, even though that won't do anything for us. But next turn, we can get a level two bison and a level two husky. So we're scaling to the moon, bro. Like if we don't lose like quick, well, actually we are going to lose here, sadly. So now I'm down to two hearts. I'm freaking out. Am I too late? I do roll into another bison, so we can save this chocolate bar for something good. We do get a warthog, which is amazing in the weekly. But I think I used the remaining 7 gold to level up our bison to level 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. But look, man, I have the St. Patrick's Day uh, hat on, so you know luck is on my side. I'm going to sell the tropical fish, and I'm going to get this warthog into the match into the field because listen we got to pull out all the stops in order to win here we're trying to be top 10 in the world in this weekly pack and listen i know the title of the video might be a little bit uh, clickbait but i thought it just sounded good that way don't hate on me bro you know we just got to do the youtube thing but i think maybe here i will level up our hawk if i'm not mistaken yeah, I will. So now the hawk will be doing 14 damage, and I do roll into another warthog. And do I use the last three gold here to give it, uh, our husky a stake? I think so, or do I just roll, or do I just stack this warthog? A lot of different things I can do, but I'm looking up against my uh, opponents there. I realize that having a hawk in the third slot probably going to do well for me, and I just give a stake to our husky, might as well. In this weekly pack, if you have a husky, uh, the steak or the eggplant are going to be really good for you. I think the steak is better, obviously, even though the eggplant could be very disruptive. So don't sleep on the eggplant at all. But I'm just, look, listen, bro, I'm not taking any chances. I'm I'm looking at who I'm, who I'm going up against. I decided to put the hawk into slot two and scary hippo here. But we do manage to survive, and we have a stake on our husky, so we win there. Still only have two hearts. I throw in a pizza. I have a husky here. I stack it. If we can get this baby to level three, I think we're to the moon. I think we win. Scary scorpion. Scorpion's really good, bro. Like, maybe that's obvious to other people, but maybe it was in just this weekly but the scorpion just like messed up my shit so many times in this weekly pack bro it's not even funny but we'll take the husky there to level three and i have two lion fishes in the board here in the shop and i'm thinking about selling the pill bug here and i do and i play the lion fish and i instantly get rewarded with a bunch of them and a scorpion of my own so hey maybe we'll play that although the level three husky with the stake is pretty good on its own right but we're going up against bees bub the awkward lollipops here and i don't think we're gonna have too much issue yeah the stake takes out the lion we're down to just the three of us we get the lionfish to level two 
It has 13 attack, so its ability will actually trigger once again once it dies. So that's amazing. It uh, for every 10 or for every nine or 10 attack it has, it re-triggers its ability. So just really good in versus. If you couldn't tell, I mean it's a tier six, so obviously it's gonna be good. And even though our hawk isn't doing much here. Yeah, it would have been nice to trade with the Rhino there, but I think we're fine. We get the lucky snipes that we need to eliminate our guy there. So now it's just me versus this guy here. I forgot his username. I apologize. Um, and I'm thinking about a potato, but yeah, I realized that there's no sniping in their squad. So no, wait, I'm thinking about pineapple maybe, but I think I want the Husky stats. I'm not satisfied with 17 attack on the lionfish, so I'm not gonna throw in the pineapple. Well, actually, I'll give the pineapple to the hawk. Who am I kidding? Maybe this pineapple will kill the hippo in the fourth slot there, which will, I don't know, it will help me sleep at night, I guess. But we're gonna get some stats here. Our lionfish, 20 attack, so not too shabby. They throw an orca in the field. I don't know, that was a little bit of a Hail Mary. Now your lion is not gonna get its stats I'm not sure about that one bro but i do win there and that gives us seven points which is not a lot but i've played so many games but here is the moment of truth am i in the top 10 of course i am otherwise this video wouldn't exist but if you want more super auto pets why not check out one of these videos here anyways peace and love thanks for 700 subscribers i'll be back for more Goodbye.